Okay, Dr. Anderson, um, what would you say the main takeaway from this study is? The main takeaway is that uh, uh, this, this is a small part of a uh, larger project that we're running, but uh, uh, the main takeaway of the poster is that you need to, when you're studying these sort of mediators, you need to consider sex, first and foremost, but also age. And uh, of course, uh, not on the poster, this is, these are markers that are heavily related to BMI as well, and that is why we are studying them. Uh, and uh, their influence in obesity related asthma. Okay. Uh, okay, now how important is it to find as many um, biomarkers as you can to kind of help uh, doctors kind of identify some of these diseases as early as possible and start treatment as early as possible? Uh, this is not so much related to to detect as early as possible, but to, in order to understand which of which particular mechanism is involved in this uh, asthma. Uh, so it's a part of a uh, characterize the patients to get the right medicine to the right patient, that sort of uh, effort. It is to understand which patient, patients are uh, in this group, obesity-related asthma, to understand that in order to have the right treatment for, and, and to, to understand which patients should have this treatment. So ultimately, this will result in a understand, better understanding of obesity-related asthma, and B, diagnostic tools to identify these patients more accurately. Okay. Now, um, obesity is a major problem, at least here in America. Um, how much of an issue is it for um, people who are obese that, that, that they could kind of treat asthma and not develop some of the comorbidities, especially in in the age of COVID where you're seeing all these problems kind of come together. Um, how yes. important is it to treat the asthma or the COPD and, and at least handle that part of their lives? I think it's very important. Uh, if, if you put it in relation with COVID, the better you can suppress symptoms from other comorbidities, the better you can handle the COVID. And in particular, if you get sick, you are in high risk of getting very sick by the COVID. Yeah. And in order to, to handle the, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the uh, uh, what is it? urgency uh, hospitalization, where you have the respiratory equipment uh, and all these things. And that, that is also quite uh, demanding on the patient to, to, to uh, get this uh, respiratory uh, and you're uh, unconscious and so on by, by, by the doctor, I mean, by the treatment as such. So if you can then suppress other comorbidities like the severe asthma, for instance, then, then you're a better, in a better position to, to uh, survive COVID or, or handle the, the, the health care when, when you are in, in, in the hospital, hospital, the hospital treatment for COVID.